Hey Huns, so I've seen this video flying around YouTube and I really wanted to try it. It's a bit of like a this or that type video. So I'm going to FaceTime my sisters. I'm one of six sisters. I've got five little sisters. And during this lockdown situation, I'm living with my fiancé at my in-law's house. So I'm missing them absolutely loads. We're FaceTiming each other really often, which is sort of getting us through it a little bit. So I thought it'd be really cute, a really fun idea if I could FaceTime them and they could pick my makeup without them knowing. So the idea of this video is I'm going to give them like a this or that situation and whatever they pick is going to be related to a makeup product, which obviously I'm going to share with you guys and then we'll see kind of what look we're going to come up with. I think this will be really fun, really interesting and I can't leave the house anyway, so it doesn't matter if it's great or not. <laughs> so I'm really excited. So let's get into it. Okay, so sat in front of me, um, I've got a couple of options for each step. So I picked two products, um, either a high end and a low end option, or like a neutral and a bright option. So I'm gonna ask each sister, I've got five sisters, and we're gonna go youngest to oldest. And I'm gonna ask them a couple of questions that have nothing to do with makeup not makeup related at all so they won't even know what products they're picking so i'm going to go through each step and relate one product to a question play sort of like this or that and yeah and then facetime them and see what their answers are and that'll pick my steps for my makeup without them knowing so this could be amazing could be really interesting i've got nowhere to go so why not okay so my first step is going to be primer so for this or that we're going to do a nyx pore filling primer and the tatcha silk canvas primer they're both similar in the fact that they fill pores but obviously different price points and slightly different consistencies this is like more of a liquidy silicone base and this is more of a thicker consistency so we're going to re relate this to fruit so we'll say the pore filler is an apple and we'll say the touch of silk canvas is a banana. And then we'll do foundation as our next step. So we're going to use the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation as option one. And then for option two, the Maybelline Dream Liquid Satin Finish. We'll relate these to McDonald's order. So we'll do chicken nuggets for the NARS foundation and then we'll do cheeseburger for the Maybelline foundation. Okay, so then for concealer, we'll use the NARS and the Revolution Concealer and Define Concealer. Again, very different price points. Slight different consistencies as well. So we'll relate these two drinks. So we'll do NARS for like a Coke and then we'll do the Revolution for lemonade. So let's FaceTime the first sister. Hi, Hi sister, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good. So I've got a couple of questions for you. Yeah. Okay, so the first question is going to be, would you prefer an apple mm -hmm. or a banana? An apple. Um, If you were at McDonald's, would you prefer chicken nuggets or a cheeseburger? A cheeseburger. Oh, a cheeseburger, interesting. And then if you were having a drink, would you prefer a Coke? Or would you prefer lemonade? A Coke. Oh, okay. Thank you, love you. So that was my younger sister Mackenzie and she has picked the NYX Pore Filling Primer, the Maybelline Radiant Liquid Foundation and the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. So we're going to go with those three steps now. I'm just going to apply the NYX Primer. I'm just going to apply that to the centre of my face. I find these primers don't go well on my nose even though I've got pores there they're not that large on my nose it's sort of my cheek my cheeks that need it more so I've applied that I'm gonna go in with the foundation give it a little bit of a shake with two pumps first I'm gonna use a real techniques brush just buff that in I've not used I've used all these products before but maybe not together so it'll be interesting to see how they all work together. And then we were gonna go in with the NARS concealer. Tap a little bit on the nose and the center. A little bit on the forehead. And a couple just over the blemishes that I've got here. And then we're gonna blend that out. Okay, so the next three steps are going to be translucent powder, 
bronzer and blush. Okay, so for translucent powder, our two options are the Laura Mercier translucent powder and the Airspun loose face powder, just two slightly different price points. This is actually the travel size version of the Laura Mercier one because I just wanted to see if I liked it and I do really, really like it. And I like the S1 one as well. They also have two different smells. This smells literally like Nan's. <laughs> but it's not offensive, it goes away. Okay, so we'll link these three to exercise. So we'll link this to swimming and we will link the Airspun one to running. For bronzer, we're going to do the NARS Laguna bronzer and the Butter bronzer by Physicians Formula. Again, two different price points and we will link the Butter Bronzer to football, and we'll link the Laguna one to rugby. Um, and then for blush, we've got the Rocketeur blush by Benefit, and the Luminoso blush by Milani. Again, two different price points, and they've got very similar finishes, just slightly different colours. We will link Milani to Walking the Dog, and we'll do the Benefit one to going on a bike ride. Let's see the next sister. <laughs> Hi, sister. Okay, so I've got three questions for you. Yeah. A bit random. These are all to do with exercise. Okay. I was just going to go on a run as well. Oh, yeah. Okay. So would you rather go swimming mm -hmm. or would you rather go for a run? I'd rather go for a run. She'd rather go for a run. Okay, cool. And would you rather play football or would you rather play rugby? Um, football. Football. Okay, cool. Would you rather walk the dogs or would you rather go on a bike ride? What the dogs? Ooh, what the dogs? Thanks for that, Sarah. It's alright. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> alright, sister, love you. Bye, I love you. Thank you for your help. So, she picked the Airspun powder, the Butter bronzer, and the Milani blush. So, all the lower end stuff, actually. So, we've got a matte concealer on anyway, so I'm not going to need too much setting. But I do normally set them in my eyes. So, I'm going to put a little bit on the brush. I'm just going to use a dome brush to apply this. Sweet black, dead uh, light under the eyes. Just brightens as well and smooths. Cute. Tastes like talc though. Okay, so we're gonna go with the butter bronzer. Gonna again use a, a similar dome shaped brush, but this is a little bit more tapered. Bronze up the face. This bronzer, it's really sticking to the foundation. I don't normally set everywhere, I only set where I need to. And it's a little bit trickier to blend out than, no, than normal. That's fine. Just blend a bit more. And then we're going to go in with the Milani blush. Pop that on the apples and pat it up. Okay, so next two categories we're going to do is going to be eyeshadow and liner. So the two palettes that we're going to decide between are the Huda Beauty Warm Browns to get a bit of a neutral eye or the Huda Beauty Neon palette. I think this is the orange one. So they are two very different palettes. But I think that'd be quite interesting. And then it's whether we use eyeliner or not. So it's whether we have a wing or not. For the wing, if we have it, we're going to use the Benefit Roller Liner, which is unreal. Okay, so we're going to link the palettes to... So we've done food and drink, we've done exercise. Um, let's link them to... Okay, let's link them to, like, day-to-day. -day. So we will say the neon is for morning person. And we'll say the neutral is for, like, a night owl. Okay, so yes to liner will be Netflix and chill, and no to liner will be taking a long, hot bath. So let's FaceTime the next sister. Hi. Hi, sister. Okay, so I've got two questions for you. Okay, so are you a morning person or are you a night owl? Um, night owl. Ooh, okay. And to relax, would you rather Netflix and chill or have a long, hot bath? Netflix and chill. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Cool. So we are going to do the Huda Beauty Warm Neutrals palette and we're going to have a winged eyeliner. So, so I'm just going to get a couple of the Morphe X Stephen Hill brushes. 
really really liking them at the minute okay so i'm just gonna set the concealer on my eye with this color i'm gonna go in the transition color i'm gonna go in with this one because we're doing winged eyeshadow we'll wing out the eyeshadow too And run that in the lower lash line as well. Just connect them together. And then we'll go on with this brown colour. So deepen that crease a little bit. Super light pressure, always. We're placing product, we're blending at the same time. So just picking up a little bit at a time. On windscreen wiper motions. Just back and forth and then circular motions where you need to blend a little, a little bit more. I'll just pick up a small brush and go in with that brown shade again. And run that on my lower lash line, really close to the lashes. Pick up a little bit more of that deeper brown and just pack that on outer half of the eyelid and blend that into the crease colour. Same with the other eye. And I'm going to pick up some of this middle gold colour, it's the only shimmer in the whole palette actually. I'll tell you what, pick a little bit up on my finger actually, I think that would probably be better. And just pat it on. A little bit of fallout, but it's fine because we've powdered, so it should just sweep right off. I'm going to go in with the liner. I've not done a wing liner in ages, I'm a bit stressed now. <laughs> we'll start with the wing first and then drag it in. Now I've got to get it to matte on the other eye. Okay, so the next three categories I'm going to ask my sisters, they're going to be mascara, they're going to be lashes, and they're going to be brows. So for mascara, we're going to go between the Benefit Bad Gal Bank Mascara or the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift. This is a bit of a more fluffy mascara, this is a bit of a spiky mascara, so it'll give slightly different lash texture. For lashes, we're going to go between two pairs of So Su lashes. Um, these are in the style Let's Dance, these are a bit fuller, and these are in the style After Dark, they're a bit lighter. Similar shape, just different fullnesses. And then for brows, we're going to go between a fluffy brow or a structured brow, just using the same brow products. So for products, we're going to use the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil in Java. We're going to use the Benefit Gimme Brow Plus, and then we're going to use the Clear Brow Gel from Morphe as well. So we'll link all these to trainers. So we'll do a Balenciaga sock trainer for the Benefit Mascara, and we'll do a triple S Balenciaga trainer to the falsies. We'll do a Stan Smith style trainer for the lighter lashes, and we'll do a Van Old School trainer with the heavier lashes. For structured brows, we will pick a really classic or white Alexander McQueen style trainer and then for fluffy brows we will pick a really glam like Jimmy Choo glittery style trainer so let's ring a sister hi sister all right so I've got some questions for you are you ready yeah would you rather have the sock trainers or triple s's the socks because I've got triple s's would you rather have a pair of all white Stan Smiths or Van Old School ones? All white Stan Smiths. Ooh, would ya? Okay, cool. Would you rather have an all white pair of Alexander McQueen trainers or quite a glam pair of like Jimmy Choo style trainers? All white Alexander McQueen's. Ooh, okay. Cool, cool. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, so my choices, we're going to go with the Benefit Mascara, we've got the lighter lashes, and we've got a structured brow. So let's go in with mascara first. I'm just going to build this up. Okay, and then she also put the lighter lashes down. 
Okay, so we're just going to take them off the packaging and trim them to size. And for glue, I'm going to use the Latex Free Duo Lash Glue, brush that on, and then we'll let them sit for about 30 seconds to a minute just to get a little bit tacky. Okay, so we're just going to pop these on. I'm just going to give them a little pinch. I'm just going to push those lashes up. I'm going to go in with brows. I'm just going to fill my brow hairs in a little bit with the Gimme Brow. We're doing quite a tame brow, so this is just to fill them in. I'm going to concentrate this on the tail of the brow. And then we'll set that in place with the brow gel. Okay, so we've only got three categories left. So we've got highlight, we've got lips, and we've got setting spray. Okay, so for highlighter, we're gonna go between the Becca Opal highlighter or the Physicians Formula Butter highlighter. Uh, that's in rose gold. So for these, we're gonna link these two activities we can do after lockdown. So we'll say if you go to the cinema, the Opal highlighter could be if you go and see a rom-com, or the Physicians Formula could be going to see a superhero movie. For lips. I picked two ultra matte lips, both by Colourpop. One is a really nice dusky pink colour, and the other is a really rich burgundy colour. We'll say this could be linked to going to a restaurant after lockdown. So we'll do the pink colour, it could be going to Nando's, and the burgundy colour going to Pizza Hut. And then for setting spray, we've got the Morphe Continuous Mist and the Primark Prep and Infuse in Watermelon. So we'll say what stuff we want to browse in shops after lockdown. So we'll do clothes shopping for the Morphe one, and we'll do home decor shopping for the Primark one. Let's FaceTime my next sister, the last sister. Hello. 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 I've got a couple of questions for you. Okay. Okay, so after all this lockdown is over, yeah. if you go to the cinema, what film would you rather watch? Would you rather watch like a romantic comedy or a superhero film? Romantic. So when you go out for tea after <laughs> lockdown, would you rather go to Nando's or would you rather go to Pizza Hut? Oh, that's a hard one. <laughs> Nando's. Nando's. I would pick Nando's. Okay, and then for shopping afterwards, like for browsing when we're actually allowed out of home and enjoy our time, would you rather browse clothes shops or browse like home decor type shops? Clothes. Clothes shops. <laughs> I need new ones. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you for that. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. So we're going to go in with the highlighter Jordan picked unknowingly, which is the Becca Opal. I'm going to get that on quite a big highlighter brush. And apply that to the high points. I love highlighter. And then she also picked the lighter colour. Because it's a matte liquid lip, we don't actually need to use a lip liner. So we're just going to go straight in with this. Cool. And then for setting spray, she picked the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And she needs a fan. take my hair out okay guys so that is the finished look really happy with it thank you to my sisters for picking my makeup today and i hope they like it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time see you later